Since the first white paper on blockchain technology came out in 2008, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have been marketed as transactions that are completely anonymous and private. But just how secret are crypto transactions? In this video we will tell you are cryptocurrencies traceable or not. But before we start our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well. In January of this year, a couple from Manhattan was arrested and charged with money laundering in connection with a hack on the Hong Kong cryptocurrency exchange Bitfinex in 2016. The hack happened in 2016. It was the largest seizure of money in the history of the Justice Department. Law enforcement went to a lot of trouble to find the illegal money. For example, they followed the stolen Bitcoin through a complicated web of transactions that took place in different countries. It took six years, but the police were able to find out what happened. More recently, researchers have shown that Bitcoin transactions can be tracked by finding unintentional patterns in the data. The bigger a data set gets, the more patterns it shows. And it is possible to find and follow patterns. Because cryptocurrency lets people send money directly to each other over the internet, the idea is that there are only two people involved. There is no need for banks, governments, or middlemen. Even though this seems to set up the perfect framework for privacy and anonymity, this year's bust and other events show that crypto transactions are not as private and anonymous as they seem. Investors in general are now interested in Bitcoin, which makes the idea of private transactions much more risky. If this financial activity can be tracked, then cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are more pseudonymous than anonymous. Are Bitcoin transactions anonymous? Bitcoin transactions can be tracked, as shown by the recent bust in Manhattan and the Colonial Pipeline hack from last year, in which the government was able to get some of the ransom money back from the hackers. Cryptocurrency does offer some anonymity in some ways, but keep in mind that nobody can claim 100% anonymity at this point. How is cryptocurrency traceable? The federal government's focus on crypto-related crime and the growing sophistication of tools used by law enforcement to track illegal payments in cryptocurrency mean that these deals cannot be kept secret. But there's a simpler reason why these kinds of transactions aren't really anonymous for most Americans that has nothing to do with the fact that more resources are being put towards stopping crypto crime. A blockchain is a public ledger that keeps track of all cryptocurrency transactions. At the same time, crypto trades don't always have to be tied to an identity, which gives users a bit of privacy. Some goods and services can be bought directly with Bitcoin, but most of the time it needs to be changed into local currency before it can be used. And when Bitcoin is changed into US dollars, a heavily regulated currency backed by the federal government, a clear paper trail is left behind. If you want to buy things with Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency, you will probably need to convert the cryptocurrency to dollars at some point. Most of the time, you need to find a company that helps you do this, like a cryptocurrency exchange, a money transfer service, or certain banks. Companies like these usually follow the know your customer rules, which say that you have to prove who you are before you can use their services. No matter how anonymous or pseudo-anonymous Bitcoin is, the services that turn Bitcoin into dollars are not anonymous. This means that using Bitcoin to buy something is not anonymous in any meaningful way. How are suspicious crypto transactions reported? KYC is a term for a standard in the financial services industry that helps prevent money laundering and other types of financial crime. For example, institutions covered by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation must have a clear relationship with their clients in order to make a customer risk profile, which is used to find and report suspicious transactions to the authorities. That means that in order to be insured, banks and other financial institutions must have the personal information of their customers on file. Even though the FDIC doesn't insure cryptocurrency, US-based cryptocurrency exchanges have adopted KYC standards. Both Coinbase and FTX. US need customers to prove who they are. Also, it's important to know that the FDIC and other regulatory agencies are looking into making new laws for crypto assets. Is any cryptocurrency truly anonymous? Some people say that cryptocurrencies are 100% anonymous. But any claim that transactions can be done completely anonymously should be taken with a grain of salt. We know that forensics analysis will always lead us to the truth. So, let's get this out of the way, cryptocurrencies that claim to be 100% anonymous should not be taken at face value. How the top privacy coins work. There are a number of ways that cryptocurrencies use technology to make sure that transactions are private. People in the community argue a lot about which way works best to make the most secure cryptocurrency. All of these coins are very risky and speculative as investments, and you may need to open an account with a digital currency exchange to trade them. In general, 
the risk is higher when the market capitalization and daily trading volume are small. Here are a few of the best privacy coins you can buy right now. 1. Bitcoin, BCN Bitcoin is based on the crypto note technology and claims to be the first private currency that can't be tracked. Crypto note was made to make transactions a, impossible to track and b, impossible to link. Untraceable means that observers can't figure out who sent a transaction to a certain recipient, and unlinkable means that they can't figure out if two transactions came from the same source. The part about not being able to be tracked is done with ring signatures. Because of these ring signatures, no one can see who sent the transaction, how much it was for, or who it was sent to or received by. Ring signatures are basically a way to link transactions together in a way that makes it hard, but not impossible, to tell them apart. CryptoNote uses one-time keys to make sure that transactions can't be linked together. With ring signatures, incoming transactions to a single public key can still be seen, wallet address. To fix this, CryptoNote makes one-time keys automatically every time someone gets coins. It is based on a method of encryption called the Diffie-Hellman Key Exchange, which lets two people share secret information. When someone sends Bitcoin to another Bitcoin address, the sender makes a unique code that is used in the transaction. Each time, it looks like the coins were sent to a different cryptocurrency wallet because of this unique code. 2. Monero, XMR Monero is a private cryptocurrency with privacy features built into all of its transactions, just like Bitcoin. In fact, XMR is a hard fork of BCN. That means that Monero uses the same technology for privacy as Bitcoin and has most of the same features. When Bitcoin was made in 2012, 80% of the total supply was already in circulation. This is different from most mineable cryptocurrencies, which start out with a very small supply. Because of this, seven of the Bitcoin developers made a new coin by hard forking the BCN network. They called this new coin Bitmonero, which was later changed to Monero, which is the Esperanto word for coin. 3. Zcash, ZEC ZK Snarks, which stands for Zero Knowledge Succinct Non-Interactive Arguments of Knowledge, are used by Zcash. The details are about as hard to figure out as the name suggests. What matters is that ZK Snarks let one party prove to another that something is true without giving away any specifics. This makes this solution perfect for private crypto transactions. But Zcash does not have privacy as a default feature, so transactions are not made anonymously by default. Four kinds of transactions can be done with Zcash, each with a different level of privacy. The good things about Zcash are that it has some of the best privacy protocols on the market and the second highest market cap of any coin on this list. Some users might think that all Zcash transactions are private because there are so many different kinds of transactions. Final thoughts. It is just not true that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are mostly used for illegal things. Because many people don't fully understand how cryptocurrency works or who uses it, it's easy for false information to spread about how it works and who uses it. Once you get past the scary headlines and learn how Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies work on a basic level, you'll be able to see how useful the technology is and how it can completely change the financial sector. So, that's it for today. If you still have questions, please leave a comment below and our team will do its best to address them as quickly as possible. You may get all the latest information by pressing the bell icon and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.